No way, Bishop Long. Oh, wow. Bishop Long just told me in the chat room. Man. Oh, Bishop Long, you're making me emotional now. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> anyway, Bishop Long said that he wanted me to know he had a young man come to him in tears because he was gay. And the young man told him that it was my radio show that gave him the courage to continue. And he says it's a true story. He says the young man was thinking about committing suicide. Because of his sexuality. And, and he stopped by him and told him. And the bishop told him to listen to my show. And he was moved by my show. <sighs> Thank you, Bishop Long. You know, when, when I hear things like that. Thank you. Just thank you. Oh, man. I'm sorry, folks. I did not mean to get emotional on the show. I, I try to hold it together. <laughs> okay, Bishop Long, I, I just made you a friend of mine here on the uh, system, and I will uh, send you a message. You know, uh, that's two down and, and millions to go for me as far as I know. You know, I'm, I'm sure, I hope anyway, that I've helped others that, that I'm not aware of. Um, and uh, we just keep putting one foot in front of the other, you know. Anonymous caller on the line, anonymous caller, and this is uh, Tom, who am I speaking with? Hi, Tom, this is Bishop Long. How are you? Oh, hello, Bishop Long. I'm, <laughs> I'm awesome now. Well, I apologize <laughs> for making you cry, but I, I thought that that was... It was something that you really should uh, should know because this, this young guy was was uh, he has been ostracized from his family, uh, so he has actually been kicked out of his house, and so he, he's, he was he was down on his luck. I mean, he was he was pretty low, and so I I had of course heard your radio before and told him to tune in, and, and it, it was for him it was almost like an epiphany that he can be gay and he can live and it's okay. Um, I, you know, he, he just—it was—it was a big moment for him. So, That's it, awesome. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing the little things that we, you know we sometimes we don't we don't uh, sometimes we don't realize, but you you clearly had a huge impact on him. Well, I, you know that's my purpose. You know that's that's one of my purposes here is to enlighten, to help, to assist. To, so I'll put out my helping hand and and wear my heart on my sleeve and to just try to make a difference because that's you know. That's what we need. Well, my friend, you certainly made a difference in his life. Uh, there's no question about that. And he's, uh, you know, he's he's in counseling, uh, so I was able to get him some counseling. But uh, for that moment, I mean, he was he was pretty close. Uh, and, you know, it, it was pretty. I mean, he, he he was walking through some pretty deep valleys there, and so it, it was a perfect opportunity. So, I want to thank you for your service, and you know, just keep uh, keep chin up and. And keep doing what you're doing because, you know, clearly you're, you're making a really, really strong impact. Well, thank you, Bishop Long. And, and, and I, I just uh, I, I just can't describe words. Do not do justice to, to the feeling, the warmth that you just gave me inside, that warm, good feeling. It's just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, well, thank you. And, and keep, keep up the great work, okay? I will. I, right, will. God I definitely will. Thank you. Oh, God bless you as also. Bye-bye. So, um, goodness gracious, I love hearing things like that. Oh, Bishop Long, you just made my day. You, you didn't make my day. You made my week. You made my whole week better. My, my whole, probably my whole month. <laughs> you know, I always said when I started this show, if I help one person, you know, that, 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 that it made it worthwhile, you know, because you don't count. It's kind of like the starfish story that I heard. 
I'm going to say it again. I've said it before, but it's worth repeating. There was a storm one night, a great big storm on the ocean, and, and all these starfish got washed up on the shore, and then they were up on the shore dying, and this little boy was walking down the, the, the beach, and he saw all these starfish, and he started grabbing them as fast as he could and throwing them back in the water. And this elderly gentleman came up, and, and he said to the boy, he said, there's too many of them. You're not going to make a difference. And that boy grabbed one, and he threw it back in the water, and he said, well, I made a difference to that one. And I, I just think that, that's a statement. That's a statement, folks. You know, we don't have to help a 1,000 people at a time. We don't have to help 10 people at a time. If we help one person at a time, and if we only help one person, then that's a wonderful thing. Because if every single person in this world helped one person, well now, wouldn't that be something special? <laughs>